She worked in Pumastats, Mawants, Imelas, Teria, Huimans and Humans, well into Momentum 9, Alienation. Momentum 9 started from the realization that the world which we live in is irrational, it's disconnected, it's unpredictable. We are a curatorial team of five people, one from each Scandinavian country. We started to think about parallel alternative narratives. We started to think about history and how history can be revisited, but at the same time, what might happen in the future. Museum of Non-Humanity is an imaginary institution that takes place in a utopian future where the dehumanization and the boundary and hierarchy between human and animal are part of past. We selected practitioners of very different backgrounds. We wanted to feature a broad variety of different kind of thinkers who manifest mainly through visual arts but also through different platforms of their own choice. I think it was a nightmare and a dream. I tried to be normal and fit in. Public dreaming is a way of collective meaning making, getting people to share their dreams together. They can look at it as a kind of a refuge from the everyday pressures of society, from capitalism, from isolation, from alienation. The alien in the context of Momentum 9 is something that is meant to be experienced in a physical space. This work is referring to momentum in a sense of the alien within. So when we look at our body, 50% of our human cells are actually microbial and 50% are human. So who are we? You see all the reflections and the mirrors, so it's also a kind of deformation of body and feeling actually a small part of these microbial interactions. In many ways it feels that we are living in a simulation and the boundary between real and unreal is becoming more and more unclear. Our video work is kind of like an after party happening in a sculpture park that's underwater. You can actually see the movie in a jacuzzi, so you get a 4D experience. It's seriously unreal. This particular momentum is very interesting because it actually does question this idea of what is it to be Nordic? What is it to address the notion of alienation? Sometimes this alien atmosphere that has been created can be slightly intimidating. Oftentimes it's beautiful, it can be a little bit unsettling. There is this diversity happening and it's a kind of collective work and you can really feel that everywhere actually. All the exhibition spaces are quite distinctive. They have different kind of ambient, different kind of energy. The small town with this huge productions happening together, I think is interesting and I'm very much looking forward to meet the locals and the kind of like synergy between these worlds. Momentum 9 is a really great platform for artists to create new work and speculate how could we have greater understanding of the current state of the world and what's happening in politics, what's happening in the culture. Our work is a kind of reminder of what might happen if you give power to this certain kind of dehumanizing speech. We are looking at the Dream Clinic as creating its own kind of space outside of nationalism and borders. The future man and the first man is kind of like linked. The future is primitive in a way or it's kind of like back to start. Once you become part of the audience of the exhibition, you can also maybe start thinking about the alternatives uh, yourself. Art exhibition is a platform for creating that kind of encounters with people who you might consider alien, but also between the audience and the artworks. Momentum 9, Alienation. 
the Nordic being the Neely, of Cotterill name for art, will take part seven moss, you are no, from June the 17th to Corbett, 11, 2017.